in Western Kentucky, Mayfield specifically, that's in Graves County, one of the hardest hit. Our own Gabrielle Harmon is in Western Kentucky uh, right now with an update. She's live. Gabrielle, what can you tell us? Tom, it is, it is devastating. As you mentioned, everyone is now out and about assessing the damage. I'm going to move out of the way so you can see exactly what we have been seeing and as we journeyed from Louisville here. Um, you know, Mayfield has a population of about 10,000 people. So everyone knows everybody. And what we know so far is that 110 people were inside of the candle factory. And we're told by police that that factory operates 24 seven. Um, they say that there were two incidents that happened. They're not exactly sure uh, which happened between the initial impact of the tornado uh, coming around 10 p.m. last night. Uh, police say it was around a category four or five. That's what they're hearing right now. That has not been officially confirmed at this time. Uh, when police did arrive at the scene, they say there, there were a lot of people here and there were some reports, people in the community asking for everyone to come in and help any way they can. Take a listen to what police say they found. It, when we originally arrived on scene, there were too many people that we did not have in any sort of organized fashion. And so we did have to request that people leave that scene for the moment so that we could get it organized. We do have several pieces of heavy equipment that have come in to help us. To my knowledge, I think we are, we are set on our heavy equipment unless it's been specifically requested by that person. Tom, we are going to be out here all morning long. Uh, in the next 15 minutes, we'll be able to tell you more of what we learned when we talked to uh, state police when we arrived here. And again, this is just the beginning stages of, of people across Kentucky, what they're going to be doing as we move forward from this. Back to you in the studio.